None of us have any concrete idea what it's like to live in a world surrounded by dinosaurs, and let's face it, it's pretty terrifying to think. Imagine going out for groceries with a high risk of becoming T-Rex Chow at any point. While we live in times where killer whales, alligators, and other larger animals can be a threat to us humans, none of them can compare to the dangers of their prehistoric ancestors. All things considered, there are creatures from way before our time that are far more threatening than our beloved reptiles, and we should really be thankful none of these beings still exist today. Let me show you 10 extinct animals that were more frightening than dinosaurs. To enjoy more of our videos, subscribe to our channel to be a part of the Money Gang, and click the notification bell to get a front row seat. Number 10. The Anthropleura This creature was not as big as a dinosaur, and was actually an herbivore. It only ate plants. But if you're afraid of and grossed out by bugs, you may find the Anthropleura to be a creature from your personal nightmare. You would wish to see dinosaurs instead. Anthropleuras are extinct millipede anthropods that lived in what we now know as northeastern North America in Scotland around 345 to 295 million years ago. Ranging in length with some growing up to 2.5 meters long, these crawlers were able to grow larger than modern anthropods, like centipedes and millipedes, due to their lack of predators and greater partial pressure of oxygen in the atmosphere during their reign. For the longest time, Anthropleuras were a mistake to be carnivores, similar to the modern-day centipedes, but recent studies conclude that they were in fact herbivores, much closer to the modern millipedes. I can't help but be thankful for that, and also for the fact that they no longer exist. I know lots of friends would pass out from seeing one of these supersized critters. Number 9. Jacolopterus Think of a scorpion. Just thinking of it makes you shudder, right? Now picture scorpions growing up to 3 meters or roughly 8 feet and lurk on the ocean floor. Would you still dare to take a swim? In overall appearance, Jacolopterus possessed a large, expanded telson, the hindmost segment of the body, and enlarged pincers and forelimbs. This fearsome creature got its name from the German paleontologist Otto Jekyll, who first made descriptions of the said species. Known to be powerful and active predators, Jacolopteruses were likely highly agile and possessed high maneuverability. Their body structure made their hydromechanics extremely fluid capable of hovering over the sea floor, forward locomotion, and quick turns. Though they were not necessarily rapidly swimming animals, they were likely able to give chase to prey with relative ease. Number 8. Deinosuchus the 1980 movie Alligator brought about a fresh wave of fear among us viewers, especially for reptiles intent on manslaughter. While the movie's star predators, as well as its real-life inspiration, are humongous and can easily overpower you, did you know that your prehistoric ancestors were twice as large? Deinosuchus come from an extinct genus of crocodilian closely related to the modern alligator that lived 82 to 73 million years ago, during the late Crustaceous period. The name Deinosuchus is derived from the Greek Deinos, meaning terrible, and Suchus meaning crocodile. This genus name literally means terrible crocodile. The first remains were discovered in the United States in the 1850s, and it got its name and was described in 1909. Additional fragments were discovered in the 1940s and were later combined and rebuilt into well-known skull reconstruction at the American Museum of Natural History. Knowledge of these gigantic creatures remains incomplete, but with better material found in recent years, we're able to continuously expand our understanding of these majestic predators. Number 7. Platyceramus The best way to describe a platyceramus is to call it a giant clam. Platyceramus was a giant bivalve, related to our modern-day clams that inhabited the outer shelf environments of the Western Interior Seaway in North America. These giant clams can grow up to 10 feet big. Well, big enough to eat an adult human being. I hope you noticed the Super Mario reference. It is so huge that schools of fish, oysters, and barnacles sometimes live inside this massive creature's mouth, also becoming fossilized. 
Number 6, Suctosaurus. While it may also have Saurus in its name, Suctosaurus is actually from a genus of parareptiles. It was an armor-covered reptile that lived in an area now known as modern-day Russia, around 264 to 254 million years ago. Suctosaurus was a massively built reptile, up to 3 meters 9.8 feet in length, with bony armor and a number of spikes decorating its skull. Despite its smaller size compared to other reptiles, Suctosaurus was heavy, and its short legs meant that it could not move at high speeds or for long periods of time, which made it vulnerable to be attacked by large predators. To defend itself, Suctosaurus has had a thick skeleton covered with powerful muscles, especially in the neck region. Underneath the skin were rows of hard, bony plates, called suts, that acted like a form of brigading armor. We got more terrifying creatures to show you. Stay tuned because you'll be surprised to know our top pick was a part of a movie blockbuster. Number 5. The Dunkleosteus These sea dwellers look like massive piranhas, but instead of having short razor-like teeth, its mouth takes on a strange beak-like appearance, similar to that of a snapping turtle. Dunkleosteus is a form of extinct genus of aphrodire fish that existed during the late Devonian period about 358 to 382 million years ago. The name Dunkleosteus combines the Greek word ustian, meaning bone, and the name Dunkel, in honor of David Dunkel from the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. They were believed to grow up to 8.79 meters and weigh four tons, making it one of the largest fish to ever roam out seas. Number four, the Helicoprian. While sharks are frightening in their own right, imagine happily taking a swim and suddenly come face to face with a living buzzsaw. The helicoprian looked like someone took a shark and decided to pump its nightmare factor, swapping out the customary upper and lower set of sharp teeth for a tooth whorl, a spiral of teeth protruding from the beast's lower jaw, which resembles a circular saw, more than an actual set of teeth. A fossil of this creature was discovered in 1899 and took scientists over a century to discover where exactly did they place these teeth. This evolutionary wonder was previously thought to have grown on the animal's tail or dorsal fin as a dangerous defense mechanism until a team of experts at Idaho University confirmed that it grew on the creature's lower jaw. It used this nightmarish weapon to repeatedly slice its prey into small pieces that are manageable to swallow. Lucky for us, this underwater beast is long since extinct. Number 3. Gorgonops It may be as huge as dinosaurs, but its ferociousness earned its way this high on the list. This animal only grew between 5 to 10 feet long and sported fangs similar to that of a saber-toothed tiger. Aside from the teeth, one of the key predatory advantages that the Gorgonops had over its prey was that their legs supported the body from below rather than sprawling out to the sides like in most prey animals of the time. Aside from allowing for more energy-efficient movement, the legs would have also allowed for a much faster pace. What animals were hunted, however, would depend upon the size of the individual Gorgonops, and there were some quite broad differences between species in terms of size. Number 2. Megalania Imagine being face to face, well, more like you looking up to face, an 11 feet tall Komodo dragon, and you're thinking of the Megalania. Megalanias are species of an extinct giant guana, or monitor lizard, recognized as either Megalania prisca or Varanus priscus. They were part of the megafauna lineup that inhabited southern Australia during the Pleistocene. The youngest fossil remains dated to around 50,000 years ago. It is believed that the first aboriginal settlers of Australia might have encountered them and been a factor in their extinction. The name Megalania Prisco was conceived in 1859 by Sir Richard Owen to mean ancient great roamer. The name was chosen referencing the terrestrial nature of the giant saurian. With close similarities to the Greek world Lanio, which translates to female butcher, the name Megalania was previous mistaken to have meant ancient giant butcher. The lack of complete or nearly complete fossil skeletons has made it difficult to determine the exact dimensions of Megalania, but in 2004 an expert determined a range of potential sizes that Megalanias might have reached, the largest being 7.9 meters. And I think I should also mention that Megalanias are venomous. And at number one, 
the Mosasaurus. Thanks to the 2015 movie Jurassic World, the Mosasaurus became very well known. A formidable and hardy marine reptile, Mosasaurus evolved from its 3 foot long reptiles into 6 foot aquatic nightmares when the oxygen levels in the oceans nearly wiped them out. Mosasaurus is a type of genus of the Mosasaurus, an extinct group of aquatic squamate reptiles. These creatures lived about 82 to 66 million years ago, during the Campanian and Maastrichtus stages of the late Crustaceous. Fossil remains suggest that Mosasaurus inhabited majority the Atlantic Ocean and the seaways beside it. Continents that have found Mosasaurus fossils include North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Western Asia, and Antarctica. This distribution meant that these sea dwellers had time to adapt to a wide range of oceanic climates, including tropical, subtropical, temperate, and subpolar climates. Mosasaurus was a common large predator in these oceans, and a dominant genus positioned at the top of the prehistoric aquatic food chain. While some of us dream of living in a world similar how the characters in Jurassic movies franchise lived, many are just thankful that dinosaurs and the animals I've shown you today are simply now a part of our prehistoric years. Sometimes, it's just better to know about something, rather than actually experiencing it. So do you mind living in a world with these fearsome creatures still living or not? Let us know in the comments below. We'll make sure to reply to every single comment that is posted within the first hour. If you find this video revealing, we know you'll be shocked watching our video about the biggest airplane near misses caught on camera. Whether caused by human error or by mechanical failures, this list is one to watch. Peace.